So in this experiment, they were working in the exact same room. There was no contextual effects. It was either you bring them in and it's a high find rate or if it's a low find rate. At the beginning, they're sort of in between. I don't know if this is high or low. If they find something, performance shoots up to near perfect. If they don't find something, performance slowly degrades across the session, even at the 1 out of 10%, which means that they're learning based off of what experiences they're getting within the session, whether there is a high probability of finding something or a low probability of finding something. Never underestimate the intelligence and sort of uh, computing power of your dogs to be paying attention to. Is there odor? Is there not odor? Is this similar to training? Is this not similar to training? Because they will pick up on those contextual cues very quickly. And this cue in this case is simply, I've run a certain number of trials, did I find something? And if I ran a certain number of trials and I didn't find something, oh, I'm in the low condition, this sucks, I'm not playing. Or I run a certain number of conditions, I'm in the high condition, I'm in training, this is awesome, we're going for it and we're going to rock this day out, right? That's, that's basically what is happening here. So then the question becomes, what game are we playing? Are we playing our Pepsi machine or our vending machine? Are we playing the slot machine? And if the dog is used to the vending machine and you get a couple of broken you know, responses, then they can immediately know that they are in a testing day, which is going to be terrible, versus are they playing a game where it's very difficult to separate? Is this a training day or is this an operational day? where I have very infrequent targets. So you have two things that are driving this. One, how many times has my dog been reinforced for doing this, right? That is your smart car versus semi-truck. As your dog gets older and the more training we do, we can build them up into that semi-truck so that they'll be more resistant to these things. Secondly is, how easy is it for my dog to tell whether we are in an operational low target rate area or in a training high target rate area? And if we can make those things a little bit more difficult to discern, then we can have a little bit more time in which we get good quality search because they don't know whether they're in that high or that low area. What you saw here was just two minutes of a two hour lecture with Dr. Nathan Hall. If you would like to see this as well as other lectures and our online classes and webinars and seminars and go to one of our in-person schools, just go check out FordK9.com. We have all those things listed in our event section, as well as our classes, seminars, and webinars. Hope to see you there.